Hi everybody and welcome once again to the Mill Creek Government Channel. It's Channel 9 and I'm Phil Fatika and this is a magnificent setting we are in. This is Veterans Park. It's located at the intersection of Love and Zimmerly Road. You've got to come here and visit and see what's going on. You won't recognize it. To tell us what's going on is Jim Sperry, Director of Recreation and Parks. Jim, we're here on the best day, of course. It's Not just a bad day, day. You don't so. want to go to work, right? Yeah, it's a beautiful day fall day. Well, let's go back a little bit. It's called Veterans Park. It was dedicated uh, back in November of 2011, but before that, it was what? It, we referred to it as Cassidy Park okay. uh, to the owners of the land, uh, and it was a private campground for since the 1950s until right around the 2000. Yeah, and a lot of our viewers will recognize this as the campground here, but it is undergoing some changes because you have to. You have to, right? Right. Uh, when, when we acquired the property, which was around in 2007, we got a grant for $162,000 to help uh, acquire the property. Uh, we had a lot of work ahead of us. Uh, there was a, a, a house that was on the property. Mm -hmm. Uh, when that you was, say property, how many acres would that be? Uh, we have five acres up front and then 17 acres on the other side okay. on the on the uh, south side of Walnut Creek that meanders through the and park. That's all part of it's all part of the plan. 22 acres, wow. Yeah, okay. right now we're uh, emphasizing uh, development on the front part, the five acre part. Okay, and that's where um, we are here. We're right down at uh, the Walnut Creek right here and uh, yeah, just, just a great it's, day. So it, you were saying it's a it's a beautiful setting here. I mean, uh, but we had to do a few things, and people may have been driving by here and not seeing a whole lot, but they're going to notice a lot in the next year. Um, but what we had to do is we we removed the house, uh, which was uh, a lot of work. Uh, we had to remove the old barn. Uh, we thought about keeping it, but it was just uh, beyond repair and and a lot of money. If if there was a chance that we could repair it. Mm -hmm. So we removed the house, we removed the old barn, uh, we removed a shed, a storage shed, a trailer area that they had. Uh, we had the back restrooms in the back which were no good. So we had a lot of work just mm -hmm. to clear this out and to make it uh, to make it safe. Get ready to go forward. To with move what forward. You know, I assume you have a master plan. This isn't a, gee, what are we going to do today? What are we going to do next month? Right. That was uh, after the acquisition. That was the next step mm -hmm. uh, to put together a master site plan. Uh, we hired a landscape architect. We put together a little study group of people in the community, varied people, uh, uh, various people in the community to sit down and we had about four or five meetings to go over of what we really felt we wanted to do here and what would be best for the community here. And, uh, and we've, we've done that. We got our master site plan. Uh, basically, what we're calling for is to put in some parking and some roads in, the, in a recreation uh, area, a picnic shelter down the road. Like uh, we, we'd like to put a bridge that would uh, provide access to the other 17 acres of the park. We've acquired, I think, right now six grants in the last four years, probably close to uh, half a million dollars, mm -hmm. just on uh, you know what we've done uh, to date. Um, we made the standing garage a restroom, a handicap restroom that's open 24-7, 12 months out of the year. Uh, that was a grant from the Fish and Boat Commission and the Department of Conservation and Natural Resources. Mm -hmm. uh, so we have, a, we have a, a restroom here that's for the fishermen that they can use. Which I would assume would be almost mandatory. When, you, when your plans are that far forward, you have to have restrooms. On right. I mean, we want fishermen to come here. Right. We want people to come here right now. They need uh, they need a facility. Mm -hmm. So we have we, we did that with a $40,000 grant. Right behind us, we got a grant from the DEP, Environmental Protection, to put up uh, some plantings and trees in the riparian buffer zone here. So we planted 22 trees uh, along, the, along the stream bank here. We got another grant from the Fish Commission to 
uh, provide a thirty thousand dollar grant to provide bank stabilization uh, they put in and fish habitat and uh, that uh, they have around 13 of these uh, I call them little jetties that mm -hmm. stick into the stream that uh, they are uh, drilled in rebarred in into the shale and it uh, collects food for the for the fish and it's also a bank stabilization mm -hmm. too so we have this in, in place yeah because we are about well, maybe as the crow flies, a mile and a half or so from the lake, maybe. Uh, of course, as the stream meanders, it's much more than that. Right. But that would be an anticipation that this is going to turn into perhaps a better fishing area than it was. Right. It's a long haul for the salmon. But there are here. fish here. We were here last year, yeah. Brian McGrath and I, the yeah. supervisor, we came up and, the, and the, they were hitting. And they were, they're, oh. they're up they're up here. They are. Uh, that, that uh, those uh, jetties that I said also are to push the water towards the middle of the stream really, more yeah. to provide uh, to provide holes possibly. Yeah, and I know that that's a real issue with the uh, conservation department is that preservation of the banks because they're right. eroding and the stream is collapsing and everything's being carried away and that that was a really wonderful right thing, yeah. The, yeah the fish commission came in and strategically placed the, the, the jetties that they mm -hmm. put in and uh, and uh, so that should uh, you know uh, stabilize the banks yeah. now the day that we're uh, taping this there is uh, some very heavy equipment in here moving some stuff around and uh, you told me that you have the water and sewer that is coming in that's going to be stubbed and uh, what, do you, what do you mean by that right uh, we had nothing in here phil so we had to bring in water which was fortunate it's right on Love Road out here in Zimmerly Road. So we brought in water, we brought in sewer, we brought in electricity. So that's all the, that's already in here up to this building, the first building that we did. And prefatory is that I'm repeating, Jim, that was not here. Nothing was here. Nothing was here. Nothing was here. Okay. So we brought in, brought in the utilities and now we're running the utilities back to where the picnic shelter is going to be hopefully starting construction in the spring. Mm -hmm. uh, we did that now so we brought sewer and water and electric to the back part uh, where the picnic shelter is going to be. So they're doing that today. This is all part of a, a master plan. Does it also not just involve Veterans Park, but does it involve any of the other parks that people are very familiar with? Uh, Asbury is huge, uh, you name them. Yeah, well we have community parks. We have Asbury, we have uh, Scott, we have Bell Valley, we have Zook. Mm -hmm. But this is, uh, the master site plan is specific to this, this park, yeah. right? Uh -huh. And right now is an exciting time. Uh, we just acquired two more grants from DCNR wow. and we're doing them simultaneously. We have a... DCNR is the Department, Department of, of Conservation and Natural, Natural. Resources. Sources, Pennsylvania. Uh, we've got a hundred and five thousand dollar grant which makes the total project cost around two hundred and ten thousand mm -hmm. for stormwater management and roads and parking. Okay, what do you mean? What do you mean stormwater? Why doesn't it just run off? Well the it did for 50 years but yeah. now we have ordinances here in the township and we have to provide where water can run off properly. Okay. So we are doing that and uh, that is what's going on right now. That's going to be done this fall. Uh, in the spring, we're going to finish up the roads and parking, mm -hmm. and then we're also going to do our next grant, which we we have for two hundred and five thousand dollars, which is a picnic shelter, and it's going to be a beauty. It's oh, a nice right. one. Yeah. Um, I think we're going to talk to Brian McGrath about that shortly, but. Jim, how do you get these grants? I mean, you just don't go say, I want the grant. There's a lot of heavy lifting on these grants uh, to get that money. It's just, it, they just don't go. Very guys, politely heavy lifting. <laughs> you guys are nice people. Here, I would call a, it pain something. Here's a quarter of a million, you know. <laughs> no, how does the process work? No, it's not bad. It's, uh, you know, you have to apply. Uh, we've done the right thing. First, we got the master site plan. When you have a, a, an approved master site plan that the state to help uh, uh, fund for you you know that's that's so they know that we that we sat down and, and we put together a master site plan so now basically what these grants are is we're applying what we want done through the master site plan so that helps uh, immensely too yeah because they know we're serious and we're moving along 
and uh, so you have to apply. There's an applying, uh, you know, a, a period where you apply, and uh, you do what they say in the grants and all the criteria, and uh, you submit it, and you hope for the best. And so far, things have been going, been going great. So it's uh, it's a nice, it's a fun time here. I think uh, there's been people here that have been really using the park, so people are starting to know about it, but. Um, it's uh, it, within the next year. I'm just going to tell the people that they're going to start to see a lot of changes a lot of here, a lot of activity going on. Well, under your leadership and guidance of, got, of, of putting this through, it is very successful. In fact, the day that we're taping, uh, people are walking their dogs, and that's always occurred, of course. But they're walking the dogs, and uh, as you said, fishermen are here, mm -hmm. and the park has the accessibility of the uh, facilities, which can be. Uh, a, a really wonderful because people don't like to come someplace and find a tree you know that, that's mm -hmm. not what they want to do so our, our hats are off to you for for improving uh, this park here well, it's people. been a lot of work yes, by a lot of people lot and of it's people. Just, but it's a lot of fun yeah. and that's what uh, that's what I do and uh, and, and the township uh, supervisors are very supportive and we're lucky that we uh, you know live in the community that we live in Well, speaking about the Mill Creek Supervisors, joining us now is Mill Creek Supervisor Brian McGrath, who has a real strong interest in this particular area. Under his leadership and the other supervisors, Mr. Kiaba, Mr. Fagaski, they've managed to really turn this Veterans Park into something that you're going to really, really love. Again, the day we're here, they are doing some stuff with some big, heavy equipment back mm -hmm. up in there because that's eventually going to lead to a great place that is going to be very similar to uh, what's on the peninsula, right. the rotary pavilions mm -hmm. that are there. That That's sounds it. great. Tell well, us about that. We have uh, some big plans for, for what's in the, what we call it, the southern portion of the, of the property. Mm -hmm. A picnic pavilion that will include, well, a food preparation area, not necessarily a full kitchen, at least not at, at the initial stages, stages but uh, uh, an indoor area for picnicking and then an exterior area wow. for picnicking, mm -hmm. and then uh, additional restrooms. Okay. So uh, it'll be a about a 30 by 72 structure. Um, I think it'll hold probably about 100 people. That's big. It's it's pretty good size. It's, it's pretty good size, yeah. Very similar to what's at the peninsula at the Rotary Pavilion. Okay. Maybe not quite as extensive as that, but uh, um, a food preparation area with, with uh, sinks and so forth. And um, I think that the, the folks will, it'll be an ideal place for someone to hold a, a family reunion or a birthday party or just to get a group of people to come up and enjoy the outdoors because this is going to be fantastic. Yeah. I'll brag a little bit about Mill Creek Township here. The latest CNN Money magazine uh, was, again, very complimentary toward Mill Creek, and mm -hmm. you can brag on that. And I would love to think, and I think I'm right, they look at this and they go, yeah, this is the reason why you are a desirable community in which to live. One of the reasons, of course, the peninsula is huge. Yeah. Um, but we do have, I think, a very, very good park system. Uh, Jim may have mentioned we have Scott Park, we have Zook Park, we have Asbury Park. Those are our big ones. Um, we have very, uh, we have several neighborhood parks and those are improving. This is our latest addition uh, that we uh, purchased only about five years ago, and uh, it's it's big. It's about 23 acres. Uh, Walnut Creek meanders through it. It's uh, ideal for someone again picnicking, wanting to walk a dog, wanting to go for a hike, um, just to enjoy the the outdoors. The day that we're taping here, I mentioned earlier with Jim, the people are walking their dogs up and down the stream, and they're just enjoying it. And parking right now is. There's a little place, but that's mm -hmm. going to improve, I would assume. Yes, part of the overall plan is uh, for additional parking. I think uh, the plan right now is to have about 60 spaces. Mm -hmm. um, that is going to require some, some work next year. We're doing the preliminary work this year. So we're going to be doing some stormwater management, which is required. Uh, we're going to try to do that this fall, and then in the spring come in and uh, actually do the, the parking lot work. And then uh, the plan is to eventually next year get the picnic uh, pavilion get started next year. Now, no, this does not happen because you just go 
throughout the leaves here and go, oh, there's a 10 and there's a five and there's a 20. Yeah. No. How no. does this happen? It's uh, overall, I think that uh, Jim said we have acquired in the neighborhood of $400,000 in grants mm -hmm. um, between the acquisition of the property and the picnic pavilion and everything in between. Um, and that, of course, requires a match. So we've had to use some, some matching funds from the township and a lot of in-kind services. We've done a lot of work ourselves and we're going to be doing a lot more work ourselves and, and that's our part of the match. So yeah. yes, it's, it's go going to require a great deal of funding, a lot of work, but uh, overall the project I think is going to be one of, one of the finest in the area. Oh, I agree. It's, it's off to a wonderful start. And again, if you've not been here, it's located at the intersection of Love and Zemley Road. Uh, it, as they say, you can't miss it. The funding, though, goes only so far, and then you have mm -hmm. to somehow say to some people out there who are watching us, and we know you're watching, um, we need your help. Mm -hmm. Are you doing that? We are doing that. We're just in the initial stages of that. We're going to be doing some fundraising. Uh, we did it several years ago for the Bell Valley Pool. It was somewhat successful there. We hope to do something similar to that now. We've already received a commitment from uh, from LECOM for $25,000, so they're our lead grant in, in, this, wow. um, in this project, which is tremendous. Uh, we're going to be doing some uh, like I say, some solicitation from local businesses, trying to get um, some help. Um, we could, of course, uh, use all tax money and, and uh, our equipment and so forth to, uh, to handle our match, but if we can get some assistance, um, it will kind of ease that burden. Mm -hmm. uh, another key, I think, to solicitation of funds is the fact that there will be some opportunities for memorial gifts. Um, we'll have a Veterans Plaza. Um, obviously the name of the park now is Veterans Park. We're going to have a Veterans Plaza. We're going to have the pavilion. Um, opportunities for folks to maybe buy bricks or benches or whatever where they could name um, something or put a place a plaque on there um, in memory of a loved one. So there'll be uh, that opportunity where I think that uh, people will really enjoy that, uh, come and enjoy nature and the fact that there's a memorial to a loved one. Something similar, if you go down to the foot of State Street, uh, the community really kicked in with a lot of names yes. and a lot of bricks there mm -hmm. to help defray the cost. Very, very it, similar to that. And it really, uh, in my opinion, it, it, people buy into it and feel ownership of it then. Oh, you and, see you know. it uh, a lot of places now. You go to PNC Park yeah. and there's the same idea. Um, obviously this will be at a smaller scale, mm -hmm. but uh, the same idea. And I think yeah. that people, like you say, they buy into it, they actually have a sense of ownership of the property. Now this property if you have to come and see it it, it kind of lends itself towards people who are athletically inclined you definitely would like to uh, walk it can mm -hmm. you run it let's take those two can you bike it well again in our Bikes in our long pedaling right now no there, there are no real I suppose if you were the mountain bike um, inclined to that you could do that um, eventually part of our next phase after the pavi picnic pavilion the next phase would actually be putting a bridge across Walnut Creek similar to at uh, Asbury Park um, where you'll be able to access the rear portion the southern portion of the property mm -hmm. there's about a third of the property that's easily accessible on the northern portion before Walnut Creek kind of bisects it. Mm -hmm. um, on the southern portion there's more property, more hilly, but we anticipate being able to put some walking trails over there um, accessible with this with this bridge that we're talking about. So that'll be the, the next phase down the road. So we're not looking for uh, snowmobile races here? Uh, no. Okay. No, the very... Uh, You're uh, going to be a good neighbor. We're going to be very good neighbors. Uh, our parks, uh, I kind of kid Jim sometimes that uh, he rules his park system with an iron hand. He, uh, mm -hmm. he wants to make sure that things are well controlled and they are. Mm -hmm. um, we have very few problems if any in our parks uh, as far as loud parties or anything like that so um, we're very good neighbors and we anticipate the, this to be the, just the same. We have a lot of picnic pavilions throughout the township mm -hmm. in, in our various parks and uh, they're very popular um, they're more, more or less just shelters right now, just uh, a roof over a bunch of picnic tables. Mm -hmm. But they are very popular. People rent them out on a, on a regular basis. Uh, we anticipate this being just the same. When we walk down here, we sitting right on the banks of, of Walnut Creek. You go by some really magnificent trees here that have been here oh. way oh. older than I am, mm -hmm. I'm sure. And uh, I like the idea that you said you can memorialize people with uh, perhaps a gift of a tree or something, a bush. Are you, are you going yes. to encourage that in the future? Absolutely. We have planted about 20 trees mm -hmm. through the use of another grant, mm -hmm. um, but uh, we'll be planting more trees as, as needed. We unfortunately do have to remove some trees mm -hmm. for the parking and for the trails and so forth. We're trying to do that very sparingly, 
Um, but uh, we'll have that opportunity for should, additional trees. Should be said, and I'm sorry to interrupt, mm -hmm. you do have an arborist who says, yes. this is the ones that should go, don't you dare touch those. I mean, it's not indiscriminately coming in with no. a yellow can or purple spray can going, yeah, take that one, take that one. It's we uh, we were presented with a plan by our engineering firm that did the stormwater management mm -hmm. plan and the parking and so forth, and uh, had on the plan the removal of several mm -hmm. trees. Mm -hmm. uh, our arborist came in and said, boy, we really need to save this tree. That's a big mature walnut, or that's a big mature oak, and we need to hang on to that. So we made some changes. So um, we are taking that very seriously. We're trying to preserve the, obviously, the, the natural setting here. and. Uh, I think that when, when we're done, people are going to be very happy with mm -hmm. having the accessibility, but also having the natural beauty. Either you and Jim, did you envision the growth taking place this rapidly? Was that part of the plan that we are we are scoping this out, that by then we can do, by then we can do? Our, I mean, this, it's the grant writing that has made this possible. Yes, it has. Um, it has been a, about a five-year process so far, and I think that by the time we get to uh, the bridge and the walking trails, we'll probably be another five years into this, but um, it's been a a fairly rapid process mm -hmm. from the time we acquired the property, the removal of all the structures that needed to be removed, um, the the picnic pavilion, the parking and so forth. Um, things have been moving along kind of at a, at a steady pace, one that uh, we're comfortable with that the taxpayers will be able to handle it. Uh, we, we can handle the additional work that's involved and it's still as, at a pace where people are, are going to see some progress. They're going to realize that when they came here two or three years ago, this park was somewhat of a mess yes. but uh, they come up now and it's it's changed pretty dramatically we've got about a minute or two left I'd like to go back to how people can buy into the park with uh, you have a big uh, uh, donor on board sponsored Lee mm -hmm. already but individually I, I can't fork over 25,000 mm -hmm. but how could I help out individually my family or just me is there you know at, at first we're going to go to local businesses for the larger donors mm -hmm. with with solicitation letters uh, those will be going out shortly and then we'll actually have some kind of a fun drive where we will do maybe bricks or trees or a combination of both. Uh, we haven't really determined that yet, but that will be uh, kind of a, uh, a fundraising effort that will we'll know just where we are as far as how much money we need, and uh, then we can decide just how we're going to go about raising that. And again, I got to say, and you, you can say it, uh, CNN Money Magazine has said that Mill Creek Township is one of the well, you tell them. What? Well, one of the top 100. We were uh, number 79 a couple of years ago, or 95 this time. Just to make the top 100 is a is a big honor, and of course, we like to think that uh, the parks are, are part of that reason. Oh, it is. It is part of that reason. There's absolutely no doubt about it. Thank you to you, and thank, thank you, you to Phil. Jim for joining us today, mm -hmm. and thank you to you for joining us. You come up and visit Veterans Park right at the intersection of Love and Zimmerly Road. As they say, you cannot miss it. Park the car. Go for a great walk and watch what's going to be going on here. Thanks for joining us. Until next time, I'm Phil Fatika. Take care.